How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we're going to be doing the career simulation for Jordan Alvarez. It looks like the Astros have their right fielder for the future. This guy is on a tear in his first five games in the majors. He has a 471 average, four home runs, eight RBIs, and a 1785 OPS. It looks like this guy is the real deal. And to think they traded Josh Fields, a relief pitcher, for this guy from the Dodgers so this guy looks like a like it's a real steal of a trade and also he looks like the real deal if you guys want to see some more career sims let me know in the comment section down below which player you'd like to see next also hit the like button that's the easiest way for me to know that you guys are enjoying these videos and if you're new to the channel and you enjoy baseball content make sure you hit that subscribe button so let's hop into it GM contracts off um, we're gonna let the CPU handle everything the only thing we are gonna control is we are gonna call up Jordan Alvarez to the squad because I'm pretty sure he's still in AAA currently, but that's really about it. So really quickly, let's let's make this right fielder an MLB player. Alrighty, season one, it looks like the Astros did pretty well. 92 and 70, they won the division, taking on the Indians. But I'm interested to see how Jordan Alvarez did. So a Cy Young for Justin Verlander. League leaders, Justin Verlander. But let's take a look, see how Jordan Alvarez did, because I looked at him at the deadline day and he actually looked like he was doing well and yeah you can see 74 rated already his hitting stats look amazing holy cow those look really good and i'm surprised he didn't win rookie of the year he hit almost 300 had 29 home runs 91 rbis like those are really good numbers on base percentage almost 400 a slugging 526 and an ops of 901 who won rookie of the year who stole this award from Jordan Alvarez. Okay, Kevin Biggio did because he hit 34 home runs. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense now. But oh man, besides the home runs, they almost had uh, not not a lead Miss Diaz. They almost had pretty identical um, stats along the line. So I mean, he he missed out on Rookie of the Year by like four or five home runs, which is a little disappointing because this is a solid rookie year and i'm actually really excited to see how this career finishes for jordan alvarez so season one playoff bound let's see how things finish up for the astros they actually get eliminated first round and then the indians go on to win the world series so first season jordan alvarez did quite well we'll take a look at how he did in the postseason not amazing but that regular season though that was that was nice i'm i'm kind of excited to see how good he turns into uh of a hitter because fielding wise doesn't look amazing. You could turn him to a first baseman if you really wanted to. And to be honest, once Yuli Gurriel leaves, I could see the, the Astros moving him to first base because he can play that. Um, and he looks like he definitely has the bat to stay around. So let's let's see how things go. I'll catch you guys at Season 5 unless he starts winning some crazy awards. Season 5, this is where we're sitting with Jordan Alvarez. He's 87 overall, still holding that A potential. He's only 25 years old, so he's still got room to grow. Um, but his stats look really solid fielding wise, probably kind of holding him back for a right fielder, but, um, still really good hitting wise. When you look at his statistics though, this season was definitely a down year. Um, this was also the first year that he sat in the four hole or he hit in the four hole. So that definitely could have played a part. Um, so there's that, but normally he's been hitting like in the five or six spot and you guys can see his stats prior to that were amazing. You know, 20, you know, almost 30 home runs in every single season he's hit around 90 ish rbis i mean this season right here 2021 was a phenomenal year so we'll have to see if we can get back to that maybe he needs to sit a little bit lower in the lineup maybe that five six spot to really get the best out of him but i really like what you know he's like turning into he looks like a really solid hitter with this astros lineup though i'm considering moving him to first base i think with his like not as good fielding i think that definitely kind of fits him a little bit more plus they got the aging jose abreu at first so having him sit in that first base spot might work a little bit better so i think he's still got a couple years of arbitrary or no he actually hits free agency this season yeah so if they keep him we'll move him to first base if not we'll see where he ends up going and we'll see how this all plays out heading until the seventh year jordan alvarez i did move him to first Mostly because the Astros have a crazy crowded like outfield in terms of center fielders. And 
we're sitting at a 94 overall Jordan Alvarez fielding wise again still kind of low still in the mid 70s and that also is playing a part as why his right field rating is not as good as his first base rating but when you look at his power stats they look amazing good vision good discipline and I'm looking forward to see what he does in the seventh year of his career the thing I wanted to show you is that he signed a contract with the Astros for six years you guys can see it there so we'll have to see how things go um, but it looks like he's locked up for the foreseeable future with the Houston Astros season seven we may have hit like peak Jordan Alvarez he looks unreal 27 years old 99 overall with a potential we'll take a quick look at his morale just to kind of see how much is being boosted it's only being boosted by three based on his like morale boost but when you look at his stats holy cow 40 bombs and 109 rbis this season he's a walking machine too he's you know he's getting close to you know 70 plus walks a season crazy low strikeout numbers this was the first year he hit 100 but he hit 290 378 on my on base percentage a 950 ops and a 576 slugging just crazy good numbers you guys can see his year or his career stats at the bottom as well almost at a thousand hits 200 home runs 600 rbis i mean he's he's hitting pretty solid um besides this one year where he hit 206 everything else is looking really really nice so i think the move to first base suits him a little bit more and uh man this team is uh or this jordan alvarez is looking like the real deal already eighth season i decided to move him back to right field because i was kind of feeling like moving him to first base was a little bit of a cheat but as you guys can see i mean he's still very good at right field and i mean his hitting stats are what we're really worried about and you guys can see he is just unreal as a hitter so i know you guys are probably gonna be like well you moved him to first for a couple seasons and that may have you know interfered with a couple things but he's still really good i mean look when you look at his morale i mean it boosts him up by two so he's really sitting at about a 95 96 regardless um and like i said the fielding stats are probably what's holding him back and it's still really good hitting stats and i would still highly advise picking up jordan alvarez because he looks unreal and we're only in what eight seasons so those are crazy good numbers and you can see even by the time like season five was coming about he was still hitting 30 plus bombs a season so really good year he's still hitting he strikes out less than 100 times a year one time in his entire career has he struck out more than 100 times in a season crazy good numbers so let's keep it going and uh i'll see you guys at season eight he hasn't won any awards yet i'm kind of disappointed in that in that part but so far hitting wise he looks really good all right we've officially hit peak Jordan Alvarez at right field you guys can see 99 overall he's being boosted by one because of his morale so he's basically a 98 but look at his attributes unreal just crazy good stuff his fielding is continuing to get better he's still 29 years old he hit 43 home runs and 99 RBIs this year he didn't win the MVP his teammate actually did Nick Williams who hit a little bit better than him so that I guess it makes a little bit of sense but you guys can see he looks like an absolute beast so we definitely have reached the best Jordan Alvarez possible so there's that wanted to show you guys um, I've been showing you guys kind of a couple steps um, along the way just to kind of show you guys what I was doing with or show you where he was growing I want to show you his peak form so what we'll do is we'll skip season 10 just because we've already kind of looked at the last couple seasons of Jordan Alvarez and I'll show you guys season 15 um as the next step in the career just because i don't want to stop every single season it gets a little gets a little boring after a while so there's season nine there's his like 99 overall almost the best possible version of jordan alvarez let's continue this re uh this not rebuild this career sim i lied i said i wasn't going to show season 10 but look what happens jordan alvarez is mvp so i had to, i had to show it right he led the league in home runs runs and walks so let's take a look at his attributes and stats you guys can see his attributes i mean he's just a power hitter and then at the age of 30 he's still got a couple years left on his contract 46 home runs 120 rbis 100 walks and he only struck out eight more times that is nuts his strikeout numbers are unreal every single time close to a 300 average of almost 400 on base percentage 
almost 600 slugging and almost a thousand OPS. Like he's just nuts. So through 10 seasons, he's sitting at 333 home runs, a 938 RBI tally, uh, 744 walks, almost a thousand strikeouts, which I mean, not too bad. Um, I mean, it's less than 100 strikeouts a season, which is solid. And then his hits total is at 1505. Just crazy good numbers. Um, I'm I'm kind of excited to see how he kind of finishes. Um, I'm probably going to say the next stop that we do will be when he, he either changes teams or he retires. So we'll leave it at that for now. Through 10 seasons, 333 home runs isn't terrible. His career average is 272. I mean, he's having a really solid career. Let's see how it finishes out. Back to back mvps for jordan alvarez he was also the league leader and i believe a couple things just missed out on average but i'm pretty sure it was home runs it was home runs and uh there was there was another one i think it was like a uh, slugging percentage or something but we won't we won't take too long again he's still a 99 he hit 54 home runs 118 rbis didn't walk as much but still struck out under 100 times 307 on base per, or 307 average, a 387 on base percentage, and an OPS of 1044. He looks crazy good. I, if I'm gonna do a franchise, I'm definitely gonna try to pick up this guy because he just looks like an absolute must-have. He had 33 doubles as well, 177 hits. This guy's just crazy good. So there it is, season 11, back-to-back -back MVPs for Jordan Alvarez. We have another MVP for Jordan Alvarez. This time in 2032, you guys can see he hit 247, but still, still good enough for MVP status. So this was year 14. You guys can see he's hit that 500 home run mark. He's almost at 1400 RBIs. His hit total is over 2000. He's hitting 274 for his career. At the age of 34, he's he signed a long-term deal with the the Astros again. Um, I think that was last season, actually, he started. So he's going to be here for quite some time, at least four more years until he's 38. But he finally, I wouldn't say finally, because I guess he won two MVPs already. But he's definitely just, con like, he's just continuously being an absolute beast at hitting. You can see his stats are starting to decrease slowly, but he's still just really good, just really good hitter, even at the age of 34. So let's continue this. Let's see how things go. Another MVP. This guy's an absolute, just unreal. He he just doesn't stop hitting the ball. 2033. He's 35 years old, and he's still putting up these numbers. He doesn't stop. He's just getting better and better and better every single year. So I mean, let's. I mean, I'm showing you the stats. Another MVP. Let's keep moving forward. Alrighty. So 2039. Jordan Alvarez has finally retired. I think he signed like a one-year deal with the Reds. Um, he's been in the minors for the last couple seasons, and you guys can see here. Um, 54 overall at the age of 42, but the big thing we're looking at here are his career totals. Looking at 634 home runs, which puts him, I want to say, 7th all-time in terms of home run total, which is unreal. Home, uh, RBIs, he's up there as well. Hits, he's definitely up there um, as well. So he's, he's definitely tallied quite a bit in terms of hits, home runs. His double total is pretty good as well. RBIs, walks, strikeouts. His strikeout numbers were pretty solid, you know, usually less than 100 every single season, which is pretty crazy to think about. If you look at his MLB service time, 18 total years, and he hit 1748 in terms of strikeouts. So less than 100 a year on average. And then his career average was 272 with an on base percentage of 363, slugging percentage of 525, and an OPS of 888. Let's take a look at some of his wars because we kind of overlooked that. His best was what? A 6, 6.7 in 2028, a 7.1 in 2026. Let's take a look at his year for 2026. 38 home runs. I mean, a good average. I could definitely could see that. But some solid wars for him. He had a negative war one year. Yikes. But overall, I mean, pretty good war. Really good average. Home run total was through the roof. So let's go see if he is a Hall of Famer. He is definitely, definitely deserves it with that home run total. RBI total. Average is solid. Hit total was pretty high as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this career simulation for Jordan Alvarez. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. 
and as always in the comment section let me know which player you guys would like to see next this is gonna wrap it up guys i hope you enjoyed it and i'll catch you all in the next video peace